Welcome back to the Tidy Arm Hanger. Happy Friday, everybody. This is Mike. Today I want to talk to you about the most powerful phrase in collecting. And of course, that phrase is, I had that. I'm going to share my I had that experience with you. When it comes to marketing products, the absolute most powerful word is free. You say it is buy one, get one free. Well, it's usually a gimmick. Usually there is no such thing as free. Nothing in this world is free. But when it comes to marketing, speaking about powerful phrases, free works. Oh, support this $300 HasLab, get a free unlock tier, free. If you collect vintage, then the word complete is absolutely the most powerful word because a lot of people are looking for small parts and pieces and when somebody says something's complete, the search is over. It's right there, everything you need. The word complete, and I'll stand by it, is the most powerful word when it comes to vintage collecting. But the most powerful phrase is, I had that. I can't tell you how many times I've been at a toy show or, heck, even in the toy aisles recently with all the retro stuff, hearing people just say out loud, I had that. That is when you spark that connection through nostalgia, the excitement that's created usually creates a fresh brand new collector. Don't worry, there's nothing nothing missing in this video that keeps us from linking everything to Masterpiece on Friday and more. Coming up. What got me into collecting was Star Wars. And really, it was just collecting the action figures. I was actually collecting TurboGrafx-16 games and portable systems at the time, back in the early to mid-90s, and that was kind of a fun side hobby. But I have to say that the Star Wars Proud of the Force got me into collecting in 1996. I was with my wife on the toil. She was looking for a gift for one of her friend's kids, which, yeah, you're late teens you don't really think about your friends having kids, but it is what it is, and it was what it was. And I looked down and I said, that X-Wing Luke over there, that looks, that that's interesting. I had that as a kid. I had that. But actually, I didn't have that. That piqued my interest, and I started a wild journey. It went a little bit awry. I have to admit that nostalgia is a double-edged sword. Nostalgia is such a wonderful, great feeling. Have those memories from back in the day when you were a kid to relive the experience and have all of the fun, the nostalgia in being able to go propel yourself back in time and to be able to acquire some of those things that you never had back in the day or to acquire them in a condition that you would not have kept your stuff. There's a lot of reasons why People have that nostalgia and the excitement and the fun. Nostalgia could also be through the media, watching the show, watching the cartoon, watching the movies, reliving that is also extremely nostalgic. Through the power and mystical magic of nostalgia, we find ourselves desiring some of these older figures. But most people with the I have that and I want to buy that or collect that when it comes to something vintage, most of the time, and I've noticed this, it's about a 70% conversion into wanting something better. Something newer, modern, more sophisticated. They don't want the same exact thing that they had. Or if they do want it, they acquire it pretty quickly and easily and realize, wouldn't it be nice if I could have had this better in a, in a walk off the screen type of form? Well, that's what happens enter Masterpiece. Before I take that leap into Masterpiece, what's missing here to link that is Hasbro. Hasbro has done amazing work. I'm going to tell you that for overall for the price point and what you're getting if you're a G1 collector and even a lot of the Bayverse movie stuff is great and especially the stuff they're rolling out right now with Transformers 1. If you're into that, then it's working out really well for you. But this swoop is amazing. This is actually the only thing I've ordered for a long time, Transformers-wise, um, for most of the year. I haven't ordered a lot of Transformers. I have picked up stuff on the fly in the store, and that's based on nostalgia. But this is definitely a nostalgia buy for me. Same thing goes with the Perceptor. So Hasbro's doing really good work. I think what they're putting out is great. 
for that price point and i think that scratches the itch for a lot of people and i would say about 70 to 80 percent of overall transformers collectors collect the main line so there's the bulk majority because it is affordable it's accessible it's easier to get your hands on and if you wait a few years and you missed out on a release they'll just put out another one or reissue it now some people want something a little bit better more sophisticated and i would tell you that there is a kind of a group of people that say i have to have the best of the best of the best of the best and if Masterpiece didn't exist, if third-party Masterpiece didn't exist, then there would be people that would be going, they would be the same people buying the Hasbro stuff. And they would still, in the back of their minds, say, I think it could be done better. I think there's things that could be done better. And it would be true, but it would also be more expensive. And yes, Masterpiece is anywhere from twice as expensive to four times as expensive, depending on the figure, the character, the company making the masterpiece item with all of that but it all started with i had that a lot of people are buying mp44 optimus prime because they had the original g1 optimus prime they loved it they still love it but they want to see it be its best and we could also argue that magic squares version is the best i keep pointing to this missing link because even masterpiece collectors that want the best of the best of the best and what they have represented on their shelf is far better than this missing link figure but the missing link figure brings out that powerful phrase i had that but it brings out the powerful phrase i had that but it offers some improvements improved articulation it's a little bit better and it's shiny and new instead of tracking down one that's even in great condition isn't as shiny isn't as brand new and crisp as this and so that kind of see, you see a bit of a, a regression in collecting from Masterpiece collectors that are picking up Missing Link and loving it. And there's nothing wrong with that. It all comes back to the nostalgia. It all comes back to the, I had that. Since Hasbro's Transformers are pretty well represented for decades, since the 90s, they have been pretty well represented. And yes, they went to Beast Wars for a bit, but early 2000s, 2007, we got the classics. Uh, early 2000s, we started with the Masterpiece. But when toy lines are more obscure, they're harder to get. But you have diehard fans of stuff like in Humanoids, Visionaries. And you could just list off more and more of these obscure toy lines that people really love. But I think that I had that moment is even more powerful because you don't see this stuff in your face every day. You don't see in humanoids in your face, visionaries in your face, all of these other lines that are obscure. I think that these lines that are obscure that you don't see all the time are far more impactful when somebody has that nostalgic feeling of I had that and I haven't seen it in a while. I really do think that's what we get when we get into some of these obscure masterpiece transformers and although i've talked about them and i will admit gushed about them i had these as a kid i had that when i first saw the first picture of x transbots showing these omnibots i had the i had that moment but you know in the comments there were a lot of people that never had the omnibots didn't care about the omnibots and so for them it was a pass now then the excitement from maybe myself and others and in reality, the initial excitement of me being excited about it did a little bit, I guess. But everybody reviewing these and showing how amazing they look, yes, they're not perfect. There's a lot of points that could break on them. But when you get them in bot mode, they're pretty impressive. And x transbots with the paint and all that. It's exciting for the rest of them. But other people are kind of snowballing along with the excitement from everybody else and seeing that oh yeah those actually do look really good and oh now i come to think of it i remember those maybe not i did i had that but i do remember those and so a lot of people are jumping on board with it sad thing is they sell out but i think there's a reissue coming i just checked show z this guy sold out yet again the yaguchi downshift omnibots coming next and it's another one that i had and i have to admit to me when i was a kid like i didn't really understand because i i don't ever see these in the show I don't get it, but I have them. They're part of my collection. It's fun that I have them. I flip them back and forth a lot. 
but now having a masterpiece version makes me makes me nostalgic. Makes me with the I had that I have it now vintage wise makes me almost want to complete it. So it's kind of a weird synergy going on here. It's a symbiotic relationship with masterpiece and my G1 collection, and it's tough because I mean you know where's your money going to go to the masterpiece or completing your vintage ones, but. Those are decisions we all have to make. This one is the MX-25 Matus. Now that's your take on camshaft and it, it would finish off. This one is coming down the road. And so this one's not the next one on the list, but still exciting. All this stuff coming from X-Transbots, but there's other companies out there making stuff too. But I got one more X-Transbot. Now I'm just using this because it's quick and easy. This is stuff that's current and relevant. But one of the problems with Obscure is that there's not enough collectors that have the I had that moment. And I did not have this. The The reason I'm sort of nostalgic for it is because I got this when they did the Titan Returns. And I had it, and I, it was a hard figure to get. And it's one that goes for stupid money on the aftermarket. So getting the Titan Returns one is tough. In fact, you're gonna be able to get the extra transports one for the price of the Titan Returns one. But most of the stuff doesn't get produced because there's not enough people that have the I had that mentality and have that huge nostalgic drive to buy it or to want to get it in a modernized, recreated form. And that's where X-Transpot's taking a risk, but it seems to be paying off in every single case. I think I said it, but this is Misfire, and Misfire is a really cool figure. I do want to quickly highlight Fans Hobby because they live in this world. They live in the... I had that, but it's obscure. And they sit back and just make stuff that nobody else was willing to make. And I really think that's where Masterpiece Third Party thrives. The Masterpiece Third Party thrives making stuff that nobody else makes. The only way to get this, pretty much, is to go through them, to buy their product. And they're competing against nobody. There's no competition in here. And when there's no competition, and you do a decent product. I understand that some people say the, the Minerva wasn't great or there were problems with it QC-wise, but I watched a video on it. It didn't seem too bad to me. So all over, I can't really recommend this because I don't buy very much of their stuff, but I can also say this will scratch that itch and give you that nostalgic I had that moment. So anyway, I continue to hear the I had that excitement over and over. And it surprises me because last time they had this blaster out at retail it went on clearance down to two dollars i was able to i literally was able to grab one off a guy that had like six in his arms running up to the register i said hey bud can i get one of those he's like sure <laughs> so i got one for like two dollars and 41 cents i have no idea how it got that cheap but it was pretty cool and then we have this hound here and so they're going different direction hasbro's cheaping out on this the i had that but now there's no chrome and yes it's tuned but what do you guys think about all of this stuff that's going on what do you think about the missing linked to masterpiece and all the different i had that scenarios that companies are playing to these days let me know in the comments below, like subscribe to your hanger out